When building your laser microscope, it is best to use an oral syringe like that in the picture so there are no sharp parts. Oral syringes are inexpensive and available at the corner pharmacy and most retail stores. Both green and red laser pointers will work. Just make sure they contain fresh batteries. To analyze a sample with your laser microscope, just fill the syringe with a sample. Then push down on the syringe plunger until you create a hanging drop. Carefully place the oral syringe with the hanging drop between two glasses that serve as stands. Next, shine the laser pointer through the drop such that the projection falls onto a wall. You can make the projection larger by moving your microscope farther away from the wall. The hanging drop acts like a lens for the laser light to pass through. Microbes in the water droplet block the laser light, and what you see projected onto the wall are the shadows of single and multi-celled microbes inside the droplet. Crazy! Dr. Smith and I did a few experiments, and here are our results. The water source for all samples taken was carbon-filtered drinking water. It would be really interesting to try lake or pond water, maybe even stagnant water. It would be fun to try a water bottle before and after sharing it with someone else. You may never share your water or soda bottle again. Possibilities are endless. Go ahead and build a laser microscope so you can find out what's in your water. What's in your water? What's in your water?